Thank you, Speaker, and uh, Senator Mbogwa for that question. Um, we have discussions with the Office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary on this issue of the retired indicator in the performance contracting on disability. And um, I think it was one of the cross-cutting issue that most ministries, departments, and agencies were not able to, 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 to go through or to be able to achieve. And uh, we are having discussions so that it is returned back in the next financial year. We appreciate the fact that disability mainstreaming in all ministries is very important. And we will be able to have discussions, even at the committee level, we should be able to support this program to be brought back into performance contracting. Thank you, Rose Speaker. Thank you, CS. Um, Senator Manzo. Mr. Speaker. Yeah, you just requested to ask a question. Yes, yes, because I've been following the proceedings from elsewhere, and there's a very burning issue. I would like my, to ask my colleague from the National Assembly. She used to be my colleague in the ministry. Uh, recently, in the ad hoc committee we have set up for the 1998 U.S. bombing by this house, we, we summoned the Council of People with Disability, and they, they explained that they were totally unable to accommodate. Most people became disabled out of the bombing, uh, out of law finances. So I wanted really to know from the minister, uh, there being a lot of complaints on that particular issue of 1998 bombing, first, whether you have taken special cognizance of the people who acquired disability out of that. And secondly, there's a family in Makwene, uh, particularly in Mali, uh, who, when they get at a certain age, they become disabled out of a disease which has not been known, and everybody in that family is disabled. But recently, when the local MCA took that family to be registered, the registration you are doing, your officer, Mr. Masita, in Mali, rejected this particular family. What can you do about that? I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Sears. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and... Uh, to listen to On the second question, on um, why a family was not registered, we will find out from our officers on the ground why they were not able to register a family, but the directions that we have for our officers is that they should register all persons with disability. And then the council will later vet to see or to have those with severe disabilities uh, registered on the program of Inwajami. We will take it up as a council to be able to verify what could have happened. But it is not a requirement for this registration that persons with disabilities should have the card, the persons with disability card. All of them are registered uh, despite having no card. Thank you. Okay, Senator Manzo, you may want to make a follow-up on that particular family.